flipping 100 million to 1 billion GP. One of the hardest flipping challenges a flipper can endure, which separates the beginners from the experts. In this series, we will be starting with a 100 mil and slowly work our way up to a billion GP cash stack using active flips, passive flips, overnight flips, and even investments. And don't forget to smash that like button if you're hyped for this series, but without further ado, let's get to the Grand Exchange and let's get flipping. Here we are at the Grand Exchange with 100 mil in our inventory. I'm so excited to get this series started and show you guys some of my flipping strategies that I use for smaller cash stacks and how they actually grow into a larger cash stack over time. We're going to start off today with an active flipping session. We'll flip a couple high volume items and we'll do some medium level gear as well to try and get some starter cash. Here we are with the first set of flips for the series, really pumped to get this started. Basically, I've just been flipping a lot of high volume items, specifically things that I know have been doing well over the past few days. Now everything here on screen right now has been a little bit beaten down in price and I think it's a great opportunity to flip them, especially right now on the daily view. Most of this stuff is sitting at a daily low, which typically means you will be able to flip it up for quite a nice margin. High volume flipping is amazing because usually all of the flips that you work on are super safe and it's pretty hard to lose money on them. And if you do lose money, it's only like 100 to 200k most of the time at least, which really is not that bad. I did find an interesting situation over on GE Tracker. By the way, guys, if you don't have GE Tracker, I highly recommend it. The premium version really can make you a lot of bank in RuneScape. I've got a link in the description below if you're interested in a free trial, so check that out. Anyway, we I'm just looking at the Blood Runes here, and I'm seeing that they are getting dumped to around 300 GP each, but we're seeing an active trade price of around 320 to 330. So I'm hoping we can catch some on the dump. I've listed a few for 306 each, and I'm actually hoping that's going to flip for us here today. And there we go. Our first flip of the series is done. The Mahogany Planks. We were able to get a full limit of these off for a 220k profit. That is a very good start to the series. Now, I am doing a little bit riskier of a flip right now. I want to flip the Vigora's Chain Makes because I'm seeing a very strong uptrend on these over on GE Tracker. And if we can flip a few on margin today, it's going to make us like 100k for each one that we flip. So I'm very excited to see if that actually works out for us. Besides that though, we've got a bunch of this other stuff listed. We almost have all the Dragon Arrows as well, which we will sell back for hopefully around a 60 GP margin. Quick update for you guys, we got one Vigorous Chain Mace, and we also sold all the Magic Logs. Now, they only made us like a 48k profit, but pretty quick flip, can't be too mad about it. But also, we have the Dragon Arrows selling for an absolute monster margin. If you guys remember, we bought these for 2,031 each, and they are selling for 2,189 each. That could be like a 1.5 mil flip if we sell them all off for this price. As predicted, we actually did get the blood roots to fill out for 306 each, although we didn't get a full quantity, just sold about 6,000 of them for a slight profit, made about 87k on the ones that we flipped so far. And we also got our first Vigorous Chain Mace off, very nice. Already up 700k, this has been a really good session so far. And our second chain may sold, as well as some more dragon arrows, already up to a total of 1.3 mil in profit. Really good so far. I logged off for a little bit and just let my items sell, and the only thing that has not sold yet is the dragon arrows. But at this point, we are up about 2 mil in profit. Really strong start to the episode. While I do think doing active flipping will be the best way to build our cash stack in the beginning, I do want to put in our first investment, and that is going to be on the Zolandra teleports. The reason I want to get in on these teleports is for two reasons here. Now the first one is they look extremely cheap right now. They rarely get down to this price level, and almost every time they do, they spike up afterwards in price. And I think that now that we have a Prime event on the horizon, and since Zolra prices are so high because of Raids 3, I have a theory that a lot of bots are going to try to bot Zolra and buy a bunch of Zolandra teleports. So I'm hoping that these will bounce off the bottom in the coming months, and we should be able to sell them for at least 22k each. We'll probably look for 24k each. 
so we should be looking at a massive return on those, but I don't want to wait too long and miss out on the Zalandrip Teleport investment, so that is why I'd like to invest 8 mil right now at the start of the series, that way we can at least get some profit off of it in the future. Anyway, I'm going to set some flips for the next couple of hours so we can make some money while I'm offline. All right, we have all of our offers in the Grand Exchange. I'm going to check these in a couple of hours. Also, we adjusted the sell price on the Dragon Arrows. I don't think that we're going to sell for the 2.2k that we have in them listed for. So I decided to list them a little bit lower. If we can sell at these levels, we'll still be profitable. But I, it does kind of look unlikely that we will be able to. But if we can't, we're really not losing that much money. So I'm not too hurt. It is the next day and most of our overnight flips ended up working out. Some of these I actually sold back last night because they were completed, such as the Diamond Bolts E. Also, we had the Dragon Arrow sell as well, so honestly, a lot of success within the first episode. I also went ahead and took the Zolandra Teleports and put them into our Investments tab in the bank. Currently, we've invested about 6.2 mil into the Zolandra Teleports. I'm hoping by the time we finish investing in the Zolandra teleports, we'll have about a thousand of them. That way, when it actually grows in price, we'll make more money. And we'll do some pretty simple active flips while we wait for our overnight flips to sell, because honestly, we're making a lot of money on those overnights. We made 320k on the sharks overnight. That's pretty good. Also, while waiting for the Rings of Recoil and the Green Dragon Leather to sell, we made 83k on the Aram's Rope Tops and 103k on the Dragon Pickaxes. Both really solid flips that took less than 20 minutes to complete. So I'm starting to do more of an active flipping session right now while I'm still waiting for my overnight offers to sell. But we flipped the Toxic Blowpipe a couple of times, we did the Dragon Pickaxe a few times as well, and we're actually making pretty good money right now. 230k total on the Toxic Blowpipe so far, which is really good, and 166k on the Dragon Pickaxes. Now, I'm going really slow with the Pickaxes because I know they're a lot higher priced than they're usually, so I'm just kind of taking my time, getting into a flipping session, and trying to make some money. We are still here flipping, we've had a lot of success so far, I think we're up about 1.8 mil on the day which is quite good, but that does include the profits from the overnights. And we are back, it's actually been a couple of days, but we did sell all of our items here and the green dragon leather was really a highlight item for us. I think we are up about 7.1 mil so far. You have to keep in mind that we do have the 378 Zolandra teleports in the bank. I'm looking to get that to 500, but I'm not going to rush the investment. We have every overnight flip set. Now, I am flipping these Dragon Med Helms, which I admit I have never flipped in my entirety of playing RuneScape, but I want to prove to you guys that you can really flip any item in this game and make profit from it. So we have the Dragon Med Helms to prove that. We're going to leave these for about 8-10 to 10 hours, I'll log on in the morning, and we'll check our profits. Okay, so my audio on the last clip got corrupted, but I do have an update for you guys. We had four flips end up buying out the Diamond Bolts E, Rune Darts, Dragon Med Helms, and the Green Dragon Leather. While the Green Dragon Leather and the Dragon Med Helms only finished halfway through the buy offers, we did get the full limits on the Rune Darts, Diamond Bolts E, and the Amethyst Darts. I think I forgot to mention those. So we actually got five flips in, which is quite nice. We are selling them back right now. The Amethyst Darts look like around a 700k profit. The Diamond Bolts E were taking a nice conservative 80k profit on those. The Rune Darts are looking like around a 300k to 400k profit. The Dragon Med Helms, kind of a meme flip, 35 to 40k hopefully. But the Green Dragon Leather has been crushing for us, guys. I actually don't know exactly where we're going to be on a profit standpoint for those, but they are definitely the most profitable item this episode. If I had to guess, this flip is probably about a 600k flip on the current margin. We're going to cancel the other offers and list into more overnight flips and then go for another day of overnights. We've got 49 mil in the cash stack. We've got some invested in the Zalandra teleports. The rest are selling off as our flips. So with the rest of the three inventory slots, I am going to list some flips, hopefully make more money overnight. 
we've got our new three flips listed we have the arams robe tops which if they hit it is going to be quite a profit looking at about a million if we hit the predicted margins also we have the monkfish listed as well this is our safer more conservative flip we will be looking at a 400 to 500k profit at these levels if we do buy the full quantity and the last one we have is an item i've actually never flipped before and that is in the top left the grand seed pods now i saw someone in our discord group flip this item by the way if you do want to join us on discord there is a link in the description below for that it is a flipping community uh, so feel free to join that regardless of experience level but i saw someone hit some bank on the grand seed pods so i kind of want to try that overnight and see if it actually can make you bank the last flip we're going in on is the zolandra teleports now that is because we finished selling the dragon leather before we actually uh logged off for the night so we could actually put another item in and by the way we did make some pretty good money on the green dragon leather by the way so wanted to point that out as i was unfamiliar with the profits in the previous clip it is about 600k uh, but the Zolandra teleports, we're going to list these. We're actually pretty much on margin right now, but these are so cheap right now. I guarantee by tomorrow we will have a large profit on these. Now, of course, there's no guarantees in flipping, but I do have a lot of confidence in this item. We are back. It has been about 24 hours since we last logged on. I'm trying to set my flips twice a day, but really... My life is just crazy right now, so it's shaping up to once a day, but even so, we're still making a lot of profit. So, I'm going to do a quick analysis and see how much we could potentially make with the current flips that we have. So, for the Amethyst Darts, we actually made way more than I thought we were going to. We made 760k flipping the Amethyst Darts. That is going to be another one I'm going to flip in this series for sure. That was a really good profit. We also got the Diamond Balls E off for like a 70k profit, which really isn't that great, but we still did it. And we had the Dragon Med Helms, the meme flip of the episode for about 45k in profit, which is really not that bad. I think that just goes to show that you can really flip any item in this game. Of course, some items are going to be a lot better than others, but you can really try anything. So we've actually run into a problem, but I'm going to get into that in a minute. Let me talk about the other flips. The monkfish actually worked out pretty well for us from a buy standpoint. We've got a ton of monkfish. We bought them all for 10.1 mil. We're looking to sell them back for 10.7 mil. Uh, so that's a pretty good flip right there. Very happy to see that. A little bit over 600k in profit on those. Also, the Aram's Robe Tops actually came in, and we are looking to sell these for, again, I think another about 600k profit. We we're selling them for like 24.9 mil. We bought them for 24.3 mil, so uh, that's about on the money right there. Now, the Zolandra Teleports, these are looking pretty beat down in price right now. Currently trading around 15,400, or 15,546, excuse me. But I do think these are going to go back up in price overnight. Over the next 24 hours, we should be able to sell them at this level. We could hold these for long term and make a lot of cash on these, but I think I'm going to move on to something else and just try to get out of the flip because we already have some of these in our bank. Now, the Grand Seed Pods, we didn't really buy a lot of these overnight, but that's not a big deal. We'll move on from those. But the Rune Darts are a little bit of a problem flip right now because we were trying to flip them up and they actually ended up crashing on us. Currently trading for around 344 GP each. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave this flip here for maybe about the next day or the next day and a half. And if they do not end up selling, we will have to cut them and take the loss on them. But we're going to give it a little bit more time. Things might actually swing in our favor for this flip. And that is what I recommend to you if you are flipping as well. If you can afford to hold something for a little bit longer, especially if it's a not, like, not a huge part of your cash stack, uh, see if it will actually sell for a profit. Now, on the flip side, of course, something could continue to crash on you, but in this situation, since it is such a high volume item, I do think there is potential for this to swing back in the upward direction. Anyway, of course, I'm going to go back in and list some more flips overnight that we can buy. I'm going to try to check them in the morning. I don't know if I'll be able to do a recording, but uh, I'm going to do my best. We're going in on some interesting flips though, the Brimstone Ring, the Manta Rays, and the Ceridome and Dehyde Bodies, which are actually already starting to buy. Uh, they look really cheap in price right now though, so 
This is actually a flip I used to do in the past that I have not done in a while, so I'm very excited to revisit that. Anyway, we're going to leave these overnight, we'll see how they go, and I'll keep you guys in the loop. And we are back the next day. We're going to cancel the brimstone rings. Those just did not work out for us this whole time. But we did have a lot of success on some other items. We had the Grand Sea Pods selling. Very good flip on those for how easy they were, I guess. 50k, not too bad. Also, we did get the Aram's Robe Tops off as well. We made about 570k on the Robe Tops. Pretty good. Also, we sold all the Monkfish as well, which I think is a really, really solid flip. 620k in profit on the Monkfish, which is really nice. Anyway, we have the Ceridome and Dehyde bodies, half of the Zalandra teleports sold, and all of the Manta Rays in our inventory here. So we're going to sell everything back, and we might be adjusting the Rune Darts as well. We will be taking a small loss on those, but they did actually go up a little bit in price since the last time that we looked at them. So they are coming back up. But we're going to sell out of that flip, we're going to get everything sold off, and see where we are from a profit standpoint. There we go, everything has sold besides the Ceridome and Dehyde bodies. Looks like we're going to be able to sell the rest of them, still for a profit, just not as much of a profit. Pretty happy with that. But we sold the rest of the Ceridome and Dehyde tops for 219k each. The audio on the final clip broke as well because my microphone hates me, but totaling everything up, we have 103 mil in the cash deck and 5.8 mil in investments right now so we're totaling to about 109.7 mil 9.7 mil in gains on the first episode guys that is really really good for a start and of course as always guys if you did enjoy this one be sure to drop a like i always appreciate that anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next one